Well, uh, here we are at Caffilly Castle, and uh, first time out painting uh, this year, and uh, I'm, uh, there's no wind here, because often it's uh, like a funnel here in, uh, in Caffilly, uh, just, the wind just whistles through this valley by the castle. But today is glorious, although it's been cold and uh, frost everywhere, yet still it's been uh, a lovely day. The sun is out and uh, uh, lovely and warm and uh, that's what you want, isn't it? And as a minister in Emmanuel, I used to have students on placement with me to sort of shadow me in the summer. And we had one from Siberia. And uh, he said, he said to me this day, he said, your, your weather here, it, it isn't just awful, it's atrocious. <laughs> because uh, out in Siberia, I suppose, you've got these lovely big blue skies, and even though it's cold, you get a bit of sun out. And um, so I'm using gouache, and I'm, um, that's nearly it with the sky, really. I had toned it first, and uh, to, um, uh, with a bit of acrylic, just brushed it on, let it dry, and then uh, when I put the snow on, then that will that will register. And see, this is what you can do with uh, gouache. Use your fingers. You can uh, rub it all in. But I think that will do just for now. That's roughly what I want with the sky. And then we'll get similar then. Yeah, colouring in in the moat. So let's go for it and. Uh, see where we are yeah yeah just block these areas in and then we can come back to the detail of the castle always got to work large shapes first to sort of uh, make a statement of a guide where you're going and already you can see that that's come lovely and while we're at it we might as well get get the snow in as well i think up on the hill this year Wonderful in Caerphilly, you look around, it is like lying in a basin. There are all these uh, hills about, uh, around. Because you've got the Caerphilly mountain, you've got quite a view of uh, of the valley and surrounding area. And uh, what I might do as I'm on that, and I've got white on the brush, let's, let's do this as well. And again, you know, you're keeping it interesting shapes, don't have it boring, where it's all like one level, got to keep that interest going and um, really that's uh, that's about it for now. Now we are going to concentrate on the castle and again it's um, it's the big shapes really that I'm concentrating on, you, you always got to do that and come back to detail later, you just want to get roughly where things are with the castle and uh, what I've done, I've mixed a little bit of burnt umber and put a little bit of sienna with it to give it a bit of warmth and uh, see where we are here now. And with, with gouache, you can just go over it, you see, and get it thicker the next time. And as long as what you put on is thicker than what is already on, then you won't be lifting off what's underneath. And that really is the trick with the uh, with gouache, we got to, um, there we go, and now all I want now is um, get some darks in, so I'll just put some blue with that mix, and then get the dark on this side, because the shadow is coming from over here, we got the part that's tipping over there, Caerphilly is known for, <coughs> mm -hmm. And um, so I'm just putting some cast shadows in, and um, and they just give then a, a rough sort of shape, and then we just get some darks in by here, darks in by here, and um, and while we're at that now, we'll just get some uh, some of the grass in. Uh, sorry, the, the, the shrubbery in. And of course it's difficult this time of year because you want colour but um, of course you have got to leaves on the trees. So the way to that really is keep it on the on the umbers sort of side. So 
like that one. I've got I got a bit of light red in with that with that mix there. This is like a little bit of an island. The sort of the ducks and everything go out onto here, and um, so. But you can see how quick you can be with this. I've got a very old brush that I let spade and and then it's great for trees and uh, uh, but what a glorious day this is I didn't think I'd be out painting today and uh, particularly in the night it was so cold last night but there we go so and then what you can do is get this reflecting down in here like get it reflecting down in there like that and then just use your fingers like look at that and then what we'll do in a minute is uh, We'll get something similar now, by here, bush by here, coming up, and uh, get these darks in again, and uh, how, how cool is this, you know, and then, uh, here we are, there we go, some darks in there, and because we'll be coming on all of this, and uh, making a bit more fun of it, and a uh, little bit of detail here and there, but look, it's a, uh, uh, well, I'm only I'm not even half an hour doing this, but um, but really you can see I've got some shadow in here. Uh, sorry, reflections out, but not not an actual reflection, just suggestion. That's all we're looking for. A little bit of suggestion, and then we'll come back over that with some water later. And um, now what we could do is just get a little bit of light reflecting on on the castle bit see a little bit by here and um, just the light is catching up there just a, a, a guide uh, to work on and uh, in the finished painting now you'll see uh, what I've done with that and we could get a bit of uh, white along here along there and um, really that's just it for now and the finished painting you'll see all the detail. <laughs> 